Gee whiz. Heather, that Christ. salad looks you beaut. Do you have any bacon there? And... <laughs> You're going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I, I sort of did cater for Ali's knees a little bit more than yours, Carl. Oh, anyway, <laughs> I mean, how else you, am I expected to fit into my wife's um, active wear? <laughs> exactly, exactly. I'm not the only well, you know one. What, Carl, I yes, think you you'd are. be. <laughs> Carl, I think you'd be surprised at how much you would love this food because no, like healthy food good. doesn't have to be boring. Exactly. I actually did prepare something for you. Oh yeah. Ahead of time, because you're so sweet, I've actually prepared you a breakfast cake. What is that? So it's literally, watermelon. it's it's half a watermelon. <laughs> Just topped with ricotta cheese, honey, and fruit. Delicious. The perfect, perfect for you, Carl. Now that you're sort of trying to get yeah. back in shape. Oh, thank you. That's a good reminder. <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> You've forgotten. <laughs> At the moment, we actually have a commercial aircraft pilot who is sitting in the simulator, which we were in half an hour ago, and he's just getting up to speed before he officially goes off and sits his simulation test. Great news that we're seeing a lot of our aviation staff getting back in the skies. This is one tool that they use. Okay. I'm keeping my eyes on the sky. Don't worry, guys. I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Top Gun, here we go. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Not that music. Siri, play the Top Gun music we, we like more. Oh, no. oh yes. Don't take me back to the Do a loopy loop. <laughs> Yeah. Great production value here this morning. <laughs> yeah, actually, see the plan is beautiful. Uh, well done. Well, we survived another well. one. This is Maverick requesting a flyby. <laughs> and then you're in what he said. And then, and then the next second you're in, you're on a beach volleyball court with Goose. <sighs> oh, yeah. And Ice Man. And then he goes, when he does that, yeah. <laughs> That's right, Ice. I am dangerous. <laughs> Oh. oh. Okay, you put your jaw out. I felt that. Oh. I think he chipped a tooth. <laughs> Locked you. <laughs> that would be painful. That would be very painful. Anyway. TJ, where are you this morning? You sort of caught your own mid bushwalk or something, have we? He's cutting down trees. Oh, uh, well, it's. um. Yeah, look, it's a, a little stroll I do. I, I, I tend to uh, do a little lumberjacking, and uh, so I've just sort of been around here at the moment because there's uh, a number of uh, trees which have been felled, and, and once uh, I pick up some of those uh, limbs which are just laying around, I might just sit for the rest of the day and whittle. <laughs> Dead clamp it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Good stuff, my friend. Oh, man. I can see you as a lumberjack. Yeah. There's yeah. a visual that I'm not going to get out of my brain yeah. for a while anyway. Yep, Mr. July and the lumberjack yeah. calendar. Hey, look, I'm a lumberjack and... Yes. Yeah, that's right. I've got the jacket and all set to go now, so I've just got to go and wield that axe a little bit and uh, I'll talk to you down the track. Okay. Yeah, good well stuff, done. TJ. As Ali said to me before, as being the mother of the nation, um, she said, look, I feel like I've had the kids, the bloody kids all year, and now I've got them for the school holidays again. <laughs> Okay, but, but I'm sure she's looking forward to it, Carl, like we all are. It's going to be summer. It's not going to be snowing. It'll, it'll be great. Tonight on Parental Guidance. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thanks, Doctor. Lovely to see you. Ali? And to be clear, everything he just said is not true. Well, there's like maybe 10% of it was not true. <laughs> well, Coast City Council has been labelled the Christmas Grinch after confirming its annual Christmas lights competition will not go ahead. Joking. Whoa. It's a travesty. Australian. It's an Australian. <laughs> Mayor Tom Tate has defended the decision, saying the council will still install light displays in key areas. Is that enough? I don't know. Devastated families say the competition was a way to create meaningful memories and that this decision has killed the Christmas spirit. Bizarre. <sighs> it is bizarre. Anyway. What is that? Why have they cancelled it? It doesn't make any sense to me. Money saving? Easier on the electricity grid. I think but it's, it's something about like moving with the times. Oh. What? I know. That's rubbish. I know. What no. do you mean? He's basically killing Christmas. Yeah, he is. Give the people what they want. Yeah, give the this kids. This is one of the great traditions on the Gold Coast. Yeah. People get in their cars, makes everyone feel a bit about themselves. Drive around, have a look. Drive around, have a... Like, come on, Ellie. Mm. This is disgusting. <laughs> Don't look at me. Look, it sounds like I'm you not want I'm not trying to kill Christmas. It sounds like you didn't want it to happen. Like, let's oh, yeah. move with the times. Yeah, I actually like... picked up the phone. I called Tom Tate and said, mate, 
Well, anyway. Kill Christmas. <laughs> That's what you I did. first. Because <laughs> he takes my calls. <laughs> <laughs> now, this next story could only come out of the top end. Two minutes of chaos captured on dash cam footage has gone viral. Showing the moment a ute screeches to a halt in Darwin's northern suburbs. Look closely and you'll see it. The door then partially falls off and a trio get out of the ute, looking conflicted about whether they fight or hug it out. Two dudes about to try and kill each other. They don't know whether to hug each other or kill each other. The passenger side door's fallen off the car and it's got a broken windscreen as well. And the cops have arrived. Thank you. Oh, go on. Thank you to that man let's for run. the commentary. <laughs> let's run. The cops ute, are there, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. The ute was found a short time later and was towed away. There you are, the top end. Gee, they're on top of the, the NT cops, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, that's why they're tops. That was minutes. <laughs> Seconds. <laughs> Seconds. They were there. And, and, and what's the best decision you're ever going to make in your life in a Northern Territory clunker vehicle? Mm. OK, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There are no speed limits. Get out of Wasn't going fast. anywhere fast. <laughs> he is huge. Josh Castle joins us now. Joshy, good morning to you. I have no words. Yeah, yeah it's interesting, that's for sure. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> How much of an increase have you seen this year, brother? Uh, look, I, I think it's probably doubled um, with all the, the landfill happening, you know, knocking, knocking bush down to, to put houses in. They've got to go somewhere and they're going to houses. Any other reasons? I mean, you've kept the borders closed all year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did a good job. Uh, oh, all oh, I should say. Is that a different um, snake? No, so... Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, mate. We're just watching the tennis. <laughs> I, I wish I could see it. <laughs> and none, none of those holes look like weep holes. They look like big snakes in, in big holes. Um, just finally, um, what's the strangest <laughs> place? <laughs> Settle down, Brooke Boney. Um, what's the strangest place you've found a snake? Uh, I've, I've pulled a big two and a half metre carpet python from the actual dunny uh, where the water is. Uh, it was in the S bend. Uh, I've pulled them out of car bonnets. I've pulled a big red belly off a two metre, two metre fence. Uh, yeah, I've pretty much found them everywhere. <laughs> you are a proper man. Um, we appreciate your time today. And if um, it's like Ghostbusters, if, if you've got something like that, who are you going to call? You call Josh's snake business right there. <laughs> uh, thank you, brother. Good thank stuff. Thank you. Appreciate it, Carl. <laughs> thank you. I'm going home to plug up every single drain in my house. Well, I told you, they like the dunny. I wouldn't use the toilet again no, if I was never you, again. No. Never again. <laughs> never again. Oh, <laughs> yuck. Wow. G'day, it's Ali. And Carl. Thanks for watching the Today YouTube channel. <laughs> Subscribe now for brand new videos every day and exclusive bonus clips. Ali, say please. Please? Why? Please? I don't know. <laughs>